And hello there everybody, we're right back at it again with the Resident Evil 3 playthrough. Today we are going to continue our mission searching for that enhanced ammo. Oh yes. And once we get that, that's when the game transforms into something much more beautiful. So let's get to it, shall we? Do you know what I'm just gonna say it? But Mikhail has got to be the best character in Fire. Resident Evil 3. The way Fire. they did him in the Escape. remake was fantastic, flushing his character out a little bit more. I know I constantly say that I'm not really a fan of the RE3 okay. remake, but it's only because there are parts in that game that are genuinely great, that are genuinely improved upon from, the, from this. But that's my main issue. The fact so Jim, that that is the case. It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. But here he is, Romeo, and the best villain of the series. I know everyone says that Wesker is, but come on. Nikolai's a beast, man. But Sergeant, the Russian. Need her help. It's the classic Russian bad guy. You, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get oh, there so and evil. give the signal, the chopper will fly. I remember playing this game for the first out. time when I was like 14. And I was like, oh yeah, that That's right there is the bad guy. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone it's is like cut off from here media, by the fire. Whenever you hear either a British accent, so we have no choice but you're like, use this okay, they're either evil it. or they're like doing something shady. We can also Same with the Russian. Shield to get us you just the know that you soon as you hear that Russian accent, it's that like, works okay, for me. I'm gonna keep an eye on Good this guy. Plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Jill, and this is like one of the very further ways that this game is well more implemented for action. We now have some like ten item slots. I mean, like, I mean, eight was pretty cool. Okay, so let's get to it. Da, da, jump through here. I mean, we're swimming with uh, items, but... Okay, definitely save that, that green herb. Always save that green herb, by the way, because on the worst case scenario that you're in bad condition before the worm boss, trust me, you'll thank yourself. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, dodge roll. Oh, you got me. Oh, yeah, bastard. See, <laughs> ah, quit, nice. That's such the problem with that dodge roll. Like sometimes you will dodge into a, into a position where you go, oh Christ, now he's just gonna bite me. The hunt is, honest to God, when the hunt is coming to this game, you'll see what I mean. Plenty of pistol bullets. Although something tells me that pretty soon we won't be using the pit that uh the the I don't know what that pistol's called, is it the eagle something, right? It's pretty cool, but it's probably dead at the moment. How long would that actually take, though, seriously? <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the Eagle 6.0. I was close. I was like, what, one, one number off? Still, the Samurai Edge is where it's at, right? Oh, and here we go. We've got three powder A's. You know what that means, guys? I'm pretty certain we're going to get it this time. Come on. Uh, 
And a one. And a two. Here we go. In hands time, Gnamo. Boosh. Let's go. Oh yeah, we are swimming. Yeah, man. Dude, I love this. This this turns the basic handgun into just an absolute hand cannon. Jill. And you'll see when we bump into Nemesis, you'll see how much it stuns him. Like when it hits him, he stops the for a second. Are getting restless. Very useful. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill. Oh, Romeo. Come on, lad. What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Oh, Any the machismo. Oh. Here all this time? What are you doing? Yeah, I'll leave him. Carlos! Now for the world's simplest puzzle. I swear, that's like Resident Evil Village level puzzle. This is like, the puzzles in this game are interesting because a lot of it is also RNG'd. Like the clock tower puzzle with the time, again, RNG'd, with the position you've put the little like, balls in, RNG'd. And then there's the absolute worst puzzle in this game that I, as a child, hated. The water test puzzle. Oh, God. I am actually dreading it, and truth be told, I'm probably going to use a guide for it because it, I just don't know why, but I can't do it. It just absolutely baffles me. To this day, it still baffles me. No. Oi. You pulled through really? on sheer charisma alone. That's how much of a chad this guy okay? is. Just oozes machismo. I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Oh, yeah, bless him. Pick up one of these just in case I need it. That's for disappearing columns. He just vanishes, he's gone. We've got any quick scene, where is he? It's not easy an absolute chat. He's a magician as well. Whee, and there he is. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some. I actually think it'd have been cool if he used to cry a bit more. Be any at our I always wish they kind of implemented some kind of like co-op, not co-op per se, but like how in Resident Evil 2 when you play with Ada, like how cool would it have been if you could have switched control to her? Very similar to Resident Evil Zero when you change from Billy to Rebecca. Like how cool would that have been to kind of implement? Because like. I love playing as Ada and Ari too, but you play for like five minutes. If that. Stay down, bitch. Ah, yeah, free herbs, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. And if everyone remembers, the mayor's daughter is the thing. Is is the thing? Is the person that Chief Birkin, Chief Birkin, Chief Irons. Sorry, Christ, getting all my names confused today. Chief Irons kills in RE2. Not a, not a great judge of character. Okay, so here we go now, we're going to be retrieving the Samurai Edge because we're going to be putting that uh, enhanced iron ammo into uh, some good use. 
Let's waste a few of these. You always notice how you can change ammo types for the grenade launcher, but not for the pistol or the shotgun. Like, how does that make any sense? Like, I'm <laughs> surely it's just changing a clip, you know what I mean? Oh, look at the damage. Just absolutely knocks him on the ass. We're done. Look at that. See the pushback? That's what I'm talking about. Joy, it makes it sound so much cooler. It just sounds like it's got a real thump to it, like a real boom. Boosh. I think the only downside, really, if I had to pick one, I'm pretty certain it reduces like the crit chance of head popping on that. Kind of like a double-edged, like getting more power, more stopping power, but less chance to crit, so. I think that's why so many people prefer the Eagle 6.0 over the Samurai Edge with enhanced ammo, but. Stopping power is what you want in this game. I mean, isn't that what everyone wants in the gun? Now for a nice little bit of backtracking, a Resident Evil staple. I mean, everyone loves a bit of backtracking. I must be one of the very few people who genuinely doesn't mind it. Right, so now that we've got that, it's time to head to the power station. But first, we're gonna need some heal items. Because the route that I will be taking 100% has a nemesis encounter, and I'm hoping, I'm pre, I'm hoping we'll be able to take him out. Be honest, though, with I mean, I could get the Magnum whilst we're there. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's take this guy out. Oh yes, nice tactical. See, it's good when it works. Do you know what I mean? It looks great, it feels great, but you just... <laughs> that animation gets me every time. But yeah, just that... It, the fact that it's so unreliable. Like nine times out of ten. It's a complete fluke.
Okay, now let's not try and destroy the wall mounted explosive. Definitely gonna wanna save that for the Nemesis fight. Headshots. Oh, yeah, our ammo is not looking good here though. I'm mm, gonna take this. Some pistol bullets here. Nah, don't get them. I'm not gonna use them. Alright, let's just double check. Nah, jab it. Biscuit for a biscuit. Boosh. Okay, now let's save that explosive. Now, hopefully, there should be some gunpowder here. Some gunpowder. Ah, yes, gunpowder. See, okay, here we go, guys. Come on, we need to get that enhanced ammo. If we can get the enhanced, we're good to go. I mean, it's free, this should be enough. Come on. Oh, only seven as well. Nah. Yeah, that was me trying to mix the, um, there we go, oh, eight, nah, which tells me this probably isn't going to be enhanced either, let's see, oh, no. well, 20, well, 23 rounds, that's 29, so, it's got a shit ton of ammo. Well, we need both. We're gonna get both either way, so it's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. Okay, then here we go, guys. So I can just go for the easy route, <laughs> the easy way out by just killing all these guys. However, I want to get in the Nemesis fight, so let's see how it goes. Let's head to the emergency exit. Go on, Jill. There you go. Oh dear, an ambush. Who will save us? Nemesis will save us. She's a good guy, you know, he just... Really has a hate boner for stars. Right here, let's try and get him with this wall explosion. Nice. Oh, come on. Okay, he's got rockets. Use that pistol. Let's see how it stops him. We got this. Oh no. My caution. Oh god, get up, get up, get up. Come on. So close. Oh god, my caution. Oh god, hold up. This is not gone. No, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Come on. How did I miss? How did I miss that? Oh, if I'm not. Come on, Jill. Get up, get up. Come on, get up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Okay, nah. Bailing. 
failing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! No! Run! I can't run. Move! <sighs> Jesus! Oh no! The music's still playing as well. Oh sh! Shot. Okay, just go, go, just get out of it, go. Okay, that went, <laughs> that did not go great. That did not go how I was planning it. Come on. Oh my God, if he, if, if he appears, wait, I'm screwed. And I'm not saved. Come on. Dude, if the music says, if I keep playing through here and he appears, we're screwed. Oh, why is the music still playing? There's no way you can get around though, can you? So. Oh, come on, Joe! No. Oh, come on, come on. And. into the same room. Whoosh! Okay, that did not go great. <laughs> that did not go great at all. <laughs> I think I, um. I think I might actually have to leave it here for now though, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it here now, guys. So, listen. Oh, hang on. Uh, should I just keep going to the thingy? Oh, is it, oh the dogs. Nah, chip it. Chip it. We'll. This will be it for. For today, we'll uh, I'll recuperate and all that stuff. Well, listen, thank you so much for watching, guys, and um, yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video, even though it didn't go to plan. But listen, so just a quick heads up I've decided to keep the other Resident Evil 3 video on that wasn't too great with the audio. I've decided to keep it on because you know, doing it again would just be annoying, so I'm just going to keep it up and see it as a learning experience. So, um other than that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And uh, the next one should be out by tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do it right after this one, basically. So, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.